video is just a brief video brought to you by scrappingwonders.com and it is all about pick stitch and how to get two 3x4 photos onto a 4x6 and print it directly from your phone through the Canon selfie. So first you're going to thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your pick stitch app and it's going to open and I'm going to choose the layout that has two photo options. So I tap on that square and then you're going to tap on aspect. And you can see here there's tons of different aspects for you to use, but the one that we're going to use for this tutorial is the 6x4. That will then give me a printed 4x6 photo with two 3x4 photos on it. So after I've chosen that aspect, I'm going to go ahead and tap on a gray box. And I'm going to tap on photo album. Once I do that, I go ahead and I choose my photos. So I'm going to say I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to tap on done. And then I'm going to tap on the other gray box, choose a photo for my photo album, and I will choose this one. And I'm going to tap on done. And then you can see here, I want to zoom in on the baby a little more. So I will use my fingers on my screen and pinch them and open them. And that will zoom the picture in and out. Same concept here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on the baby, my cute little baby actually, just turned six months old. And then I'm going to tap on these grid lines here. And you can see you have different options for borders. So you can have a very thick border, not so thick, very thin, and no border whatsoever. So you see there, when I chose that, there was gray. I had to move the photo over a little bit. And I'm going to move it a tad this way and zoom in a little bit more on his face because that's my focus. Once I'm all done with that, I would click on export, but I just want to briefly show you this little box here. It kind of looks like a puzzle. If you tap on that, it gives you different backgrounds to choose from. I don't want any of these colored backgrounds because I'm not using a background at all. But if I was, those options are there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this and I'm going to save it to my photo album. It's creating an image, the image is saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my Pick Stitch app. And I'm going to come over to my Canon IEPP app. I'm going to tap on that. I'm going to wait for it to open up. I'm going to tap on Photo Album. Click on my camera roll. And here is this photo right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Select. Tap on the little arrow here. And I'm going to change that from bordered to borderless. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on print. My selfie is already hooked up, so it's going to go ahead and it's going to print this photo for you. And we're just going to go ahead and wait for that to finish printing up. It only takes a few seconds. Okay, you can see here that my photo is actually done. It has printed on the Canon selfie, and all I would have to do to use this in a Project Life album or even just on a scrapbooking page is go ahead and cut it down the middle and snap off the sides. As you can see, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. They are not exact 3x4 photos because the Canon selfie is just a smidge smaller than a true 4x6. But when you use these in your Project Life albums or on a uh, regular scrapbook album, it difference doesn't really show too much. It works just fine for me. You're watching this quick tutorial from scrappingwonders.com and I hope that it answered all of your questions.